University of Venda. I'm not doing good piece. I share po. I'm runs, runs, runs. I say I'm runs. We are changing the master difference. Nah, I'm sure you know him by now. Before I even said his name, I'm sure you knew. Ah, I mean, if you don't, you're gonna know it on the interview. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So we're gonna be sitting, doing a young interview, just talking. He's gonna tell us his journey through the music industry and through his mixtape that he just dropped like yesterday. Damn. Yeah, but the time this comes out, maybe it's gonna be like a week after, whatever. But exactly, but he dropped it yesterday, yesterday you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. which was uh, 16th 16, 16, 16 of, of October. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it dropped yesterday, and it's 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 crazy, I should say that. Um, just put your comments down here on how you think about the whole thing and how your experience was with it, and then yeah. So let's get into it, bruh. What's yeah, happening? Yeah. Uh, easy, bro. What's easy, happening? Easy, easy, easy. So we're just gonna be talking. You're gonna like let us through the whole the process and journey yeah, into the music. Um, yeah. Before I actually start with like the, the questions, I'd like you to explain where like this whole passion for music started. Um, I think it's, it's, it's I think uh, everybody has as a rapper, as an artist, or as a musician. Yeah. I think we all start thinking the same thing, you know, I want to be cool, oh, yeah. I want the girl, oh, yeah. I want everything, you know what I mean? So when I started, I didn't really, I just used to write poetry and all that. And then Drake came out, oh, you know, yeah. Drake came out. I was a huge, huge house head, everything, yeah. I didn't really listen to hip hop. If I'm listening to hip hop, it's like only commercial. Yeah. I'm not listening to real raps, I'm not listening to your underground shit. Oh, that's YouTube, I can cut, so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, yeah. it's 2019. So, so <laughs> so Drake comes out, right? Yeah. Drake comes out. I'm like, yo, this this dude is pretty dope. Yeah. I want to be like exactly oh. like this nigga. You know, I traced what, how I rap, how I started rapping oh, yeah. from Drake. Yeah. I want to be like, dude. I'm like, I can really do this. So, but before that, I met this dude who mm. used to read through my poetry book. He was okay. a rapper. Okay. I was like 14 at that time. He thought my poems were raps. You know what I mean? So, who would you say? Drake actually inspired you to to start rap to start to rapping. start rapping and yeah. along the way of course I really fell in love with hip hop and then I did my research I even listened to shit that I didn't listen to oh, back then yeah. you know but I had like I was inclined hip hop inclined because my mm. uncles used to play hip hop okay, okay. they used to do all these things but I wasn't really interested but like when I started mm. I went back I listened to your Nas, your Tupac's, your Biggies, your Big L's, your everything so that I can, you know, have the whole background of the music. The whole background. Pop. You feel me? Cause, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, J. Cole came through and J. Cole was like, yo, this might be my favorite rapper of all time. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it might not be for a lot of people, but for me, like, I, I, I understand feel it. Because, I, I, like, when you listen to your music, you can hear that J. Cole. Yeah, yeah, singing. I'm heavily influenced by J. Cole. Can you know? I started rapping because of Drake, but, like, okay. I'm heavily influenced by J. Cole. Yeah, because even, like, like, the beats that you make, like, the, the instrumentals are, like, on it. Um, what do you call On a J. Cole type of level. Riff, riff, riff. That's, that's crazy. So, how would you describe the music that you, you create? Like, what, um, what do you call it? If you had to I, have one name for your one music, name, relatable, also, relatable. Oh, yeah, damn, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So it's music that people can relate. Yeah, you can exactly. relate. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love um, that track, uh, Damage. Yeah, damn, it's track number four, oh number three. 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 Yeah, 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 number three. Correct. That's, yeah, because yeah. I can relate to that. Oh, I, 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 yeah. That's fine. So, um, I, I saw you have like a whole lot of collaborations in your in your in your mixtape, um, but. If you had to choose one person that you didn't like collaborate with on your mixtape, mm -hmm. would it who would that be? Aries. Yeah, Aries. Yeah, Aries. Yeah, I would have loved to have, to have Aries. To have Aries. Yo, Reese, man, yeah, do some. <laughs> <laughs> he has to do something. Do you know something about I mean? But like, we pretty like we'd make mm. fire music. You know, if I could have Reese and mm. Shane, you know, I feel oh, like yeah. Shane Eagles, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'd like Shane, really, man. You know, but like it was a call. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen pretty soon. Oh, but yeah. like, yeah, it's just sad that it didn't happen now. You know what I mean? But like, if I had to like really, because like, I'm Shane, Reese, and Nasty. You feel me? But like, on quiet noise, the number one person I really needed was Reese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like like because. When he's talking about real stuff, he's really talking about real yeah, stuff. Yeah, talks about real stuff. Yeah, I, I fucks out. Like I'm punching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it delivers it is just pretty dope. So, how was like the. Can you like walk us through the creative process of the whole mixtape? Yeah. Like from the day you decided you wanna uh, drop a mixtape called Quiet Noise to the day you actually decided I'm gonna be dropping this tomorrow yeah. or next week. So, uh, what was the creative process like? Um, like when I this year I wasn't even planning on dropping anything. Got to a point when I got the cosign with Casper, mm. I was like, yo, I'm just gonna do single, single, single. Oh, yeah. But like people started demanding. Oh, you feel me? Yeah. People started really demanding. Um, because I wanted to drop a project next year, Loud Silence Three, but then I had to stop that process where it's like my series of Loud Silence. Only my real true fans and not the people that are actually coming now know where Loud Silence comes from. You know what I mean? From one to it was gonna be three. So I felt like, nah, let me. Let me not, let me, and then, but people started demanding a, a project. And you gotta give the fans what the fans yeah. need, exactly. So I sat down, I'm like, okay, let me make, and, cause I already, cause I like paradoxes, you know, yeah. loud silence or whatever, so I'm like, I'm like, I can't make loud silence, please. Let me do some like quiet noise, you know what I mean? Let me run with what I've been running through with um, these singles. Yo, what's wrong with me, your dolos, your um, happy hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so like, when I started really, really booming and gaining followers and people mm -hmm. demanding, that's when I sat down. I'm like, okay, let's do quiet noise now. Initially, it was supposed to be an EP, but I'm like, mm, 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 I got something to prove. Yeah. You feel me? I really got something to prove right now because there's a whole lot of eyes right now. And yeah, I just did this whole tape in my room, just me. Mm. Just mixing and mastering my own okay. stuff. I had no one so yo record me. I just did everything myself. Oh, I was so really yeah. locking myself down. So you can do your own recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I record myself. And who yeah. made the beats, man? The beats is a whole lot of people. Yeah. people. Yeah, I really fucks with. Um, Shout out to all of you that made yeah, the beats. Yeah, just wanna yeah, say yo, yeah, you, yeah. all of you are dope. But yeah. it sounds like one person like. Beat exactly. after beat after exactly. beat. It sounds like one person actually made the whole thing. Because what if you're saying it's different people? Then it's different I, people. Because like when I started them. making quiet noise, I yeah. had a particular sound I wanted. Oh yeah. So even when I'm choosing beats, people okay. would send me beats in the emails. Um, like, but for the most part of it, I, like, I love type beats. I love YouTube producers. Yeah. Because yeah. when I started rapping, I had no one to make beats for me. Oh yeah. So, so you had to download everything. Yeah, I still have that sense. Okay, let me go on YouTube. Let me check. check. Yeah, YouTube. check type. It's cr pretty crazy now. I can literally type master difference type beat, and then you find it. Come on, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> find a dope beat. Holler the producer. Yeah. Emails. Yo, yo, yo. I got this. I got this. I got this. They give me their stuff, and then mm. we exchange and then everything. So like, mm. just the vibe, you know? Okay. And then, yeah. So on all the 17 tracks. Ah, this is like a tricky question. Yeah. On all the 17 tracks on your mixtape, let's say the world is about to end tomorrow and you only have to choose three. Three. In five seconds. Matchsticks, recognize, damage. Damn. You heard that? Yeah. Matchsticks, recognize, and damage. Damn. Shit, survival <laughs> tactics. Mm. You know, the world is about to end. The world is about to I mean? end, so you, you gotta need the survival yeah, tactics. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you have like a whole lot of features on your um, album. It's not a whole lot. Yeah. Probably six, seven. Yeah. 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 Four, four, six, five. five. Yeah. Right there. So which one is like your favorite collab day? Because I see you got Casper there. Yeah. Which Casper. is like big. Yeah. Big. Casper's big. Casper's, Casper's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, I understand the Casper one. Okay, let's, but we're excluding Casper. Excluding. We know Casper. Yeah, we know it's a given. Yeah, 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 it's a given. Yeah, it's a given. You know. Yeah, course, we're yeah. talking about the, the yeah. other ones. Yeah. I don't know, but there's there's a track. Actually, it sounds like a chick. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, is that a chick? Wait, let me go look for this track because right, damn right, man, right, 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 right. I'll tell you, we, we can do this. Is man. it a verse or was a whole Yo man, that's wait. Nah, this is not, it's not Jake. Is it a verse or like is it oh, like no, 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 no. She actually starts, I think it's this one. Recognize. 
about it is a poet with the sonnet this in the comic. Yeah, Thought of making nah, money nah. was the it's, reason it's I recorded. It's a good homie of mine. You, yeah, yeah, he's just had, like, we recorded oh. the track last year. Yeah. Yeah, we recorded the track last year. Mm. And it's just been in, in the vault. So when I started working on Quiet Noise, I'm like, okay, this really fits. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. The reason you feel like it's a chick, it's a young dude, you know, it's my homie, you know, Kizomai thing. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry for thinking you're a chick and stuff. But yeah, 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 he got it. So when I listen to it, I'm like, this is. Yeah, it's really his verse is really introspective. Like he mm. really breaks it down. Even if you're not a rapper, you relate his verse to like something in your life. I just really go back to the question: Who yeah. on the people you featured as like? I mean, everyone is everyone. dope. Yeah, everyone is dope. But like, what was special to me was my feature with Jalen Musa. Oh, the, 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 he's, he's a rapper from LA. Oh, yeah. You know, we met through the internet. Musa. And actually, I think I got his verse like so four days before the tape drop. Okay. You know. Yeah, there was like, of course, other people I wanted to put there, but like because of time and deadlines and whatnot. But then I was like, okay, I met this dude like a week ago, and I really fucked with this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're talking about doing music 2020 or whatever. But like, I'm like, yo, I got this, the song, I got this record. You know what I mean? To send it through, and I feel like there's, I think there's like a 12 hour difference between me and him because it's in LA. You know, I send it through the next day, brings it back. I'm like. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's really special because it connects the borders, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does. The, it does yeah. yeah, and everything. Like, it's, we got music is worldwide. music, like, got it, you know what I mean? Exactly. We have to like, yeah. connect out there. You mm -hmm. have to bring something from that side, bring out here. Take something from here and bring take it, it to the that's other side. That's why it's pretty special. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, special. That, that's, that's the coolest. Yeah, I feel, man. I feel. Shout out to everybody that was like um, featured on the on the mixtape. And I saw you featured Una Rams as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I had yeah. that. I had uh, that. Everybody knows Una Rams yeah. is like. Like my you go to know, on every yeah, project, yeah, whatever. It's like my go to yeah, guy. You know what I mean? That's when I need something. Yeah. Um. Okay. One question. It's very tricky. Do you like sing in the shower or when you're taking a bath or something? Because I had you were like singing a lot. Well, I'm not saying I I I, I, I hum. So cool. I hum. I hum in the shower. But oh, yeah. I don't. Ca I don't call my the stuff I the vocal stuff I do on mixtape singing. Singing. I but just, it's, I, it's, it's, it's like I listen to them like yo, this guy's singing. I, I think I'm melodizing. Right? You know what I mean? Because if I say I'm singing, <laughs> singers would be like, ah, nah, you kind of off key. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you were. But like, I, 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 I harmonize and melodize. You know, I've really good ear for melodies and That's catchy stuff. I could stuff, hear, you like, like, you, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. been hearing, the whole day I've been coming, yeah. honey, yeah. 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 if I really yeah. could sing, I would do like yeah. R&B, like ah. full track, but now I can go straight, I'll go straight for you, you know, go straight yeah, for yeah. you, sing, yeah. you feel me? Ah, That's what's up, um, so, what would be doing, what would you be doing like right now, if you went like, I know you you at school, Yeah, I understand you at school, yeah. but if it wasn't for music, what else would what what would you be doing as a? I know you have a career, I understand. Yeah, but not at, at, like a nine to five. Exactly. Thing. What ex would you be like? Doing? I'll play. I'll be playing soccer. She love soccer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if it wasn't for like music, yeah, like music. Doing, yeah, it's other. Yeah, I'll be I'll be playing soccer. I'll be like you know a right wing man. I did. You feel me? But I fell in love with music. Okay. And then the whole soccer thing just kind of. You know, and of course, you know, we started smoking, we started doing, exactly. you know, we started smoking. Now you can't even kick like, a football. You know what I mean? You can't even give me stamina. You can't know? do 90 minutes. Can't even 20, 20 bro. 20 is like a lot. Yeah, but like, man, if I wasn't like, rapping, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. My, I feel like my dedication would be on football. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what's what up. I think. That's what so, I, um, I see you like a digital kid because you're like on the internet yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. would you say, um, how would you say the internet impacted your music? Yeah, uh, uh, like oh, the way it impacted my music, I listen to a whole lot of upcoming artists. I, you know what I mean. I kind of connect, as I said, like with Jalen Musa. You feel me? And it also helped my music to to grow. Cause when I started coming up, uh, it was a matter of like you gotta get bookings, you gotta go to the show so people can know you. But then it hit me before actually, you know, people actually realized that the digital age is actually here. Hit me pretty early. So I started learning social media algorithms and whatnot, see what's changing, how to actually get, you know, uh, um, attraction or whatnot in your music and what you're doing there. And of course I was studying media and I took some of the stuff there and put it in my music and see how I can connect with people via the internet, you feel me? like. Even my cosign, the reason I have a whole lot of following is like internet. It's the internet. Exactly. It's beautiful. It's Shout out to the internet. No boundaries, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter where you come from. You know, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. your race, your skin color, your situation, or whatever. The internet is like a whole lot of opportunities.
I mean rap my ass off How they really used to laugh their ass off Why he rapping? Pain when a nigga really start attacking I'm chained high status when he ran in fashion Really really like I wrote the patent Yeah, I, yeah Y'all don't know my kind Used to never pay no mind Step out of the line No, no, we don't want your type they said I never rejoiced So what were you trying to say on the on the album, on the mixtape art? Yeah, so basically the title is quite, quite noise, noise, right? Yeah. I have a halo, exactly. angel, mm -hmm. I have devil horn, exactly. the bad side, right? So I'm pretty conflicted. That's why I like loud silence or whatever. I'm, I'm, so I'm mass the difference. If I can be in a quiet place, it's loud, bro. It's yeah. noisy, you know what I mean? It's like I'm in a space where I have this halo, angelic, it's quiet, but bad side is like, ah, it's Too raging, oh. it's raging. But if I'm in a loud place with people, sometimes I would just zone out. Mm. It's the quiet it's side, the quiet that's side, the, yeah. you see, so it's kind of like, there's a difference in everything, you feel me? So basically, that's the difference from the name, quiet noise, bad, good, you sort of like, it's just life, you know what I mean? Sort of like, you're fighting. Yo, there's some shit that you do, the back of your mind like, like you don't want to do it, yeah, 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 but you yeah, yeah, like yeah. doing it right you know? It's like you don't want to do it, but and then another voice says you really want to do it, you don't want to do you really want to do it, you just go with the flow. Exactly. You know? Yeah, okay. So, um, so when we started, you say your, you say your uh, mixtape is relatable. So um, the other question I'd, I'd ask is that it's out there right now, and how would you want people to relate to it? What do you want people to learn? or? to get or yes. like what are you trying to say on the on your mixtape well if you listen to the first half of our mixtape yeah. what i'm trying to do is just prove that i can rap exactly it's proof yeah, the like first part like a whole lot like yeah, yeah. first part is like i'm just trying to show you like yo and as i'm showing you that i can rap i can really do this i talk a lot about how i just came from nowhere exactly. how i just like yeah how you know i'm this guy that's you know you don't expect people from where I come from to like, really do this or to exactly. be this good or whatever I'm trying to show that so in a sense when you're listening to that even if you don't rap or you're upcoming artists or whatever whatever tell this is really relatable exactly. stuff to you like you can you know what I mean and as it yeah. can do it yeah as it goes on I touch on uh, life issues you feel me I sound like survival tactics exactly. why I can even talk my cigarette addiction or you know it's bad that you keep smoking you know talk about like situations in life that you kind of go through you know what I mean you relate to that and I t there's no way I can do a project when I don't touch about on love situations everybody relates everybody, to that yeah, everybody needs love everybody, everybody needs someone to love so exactly. everybody can relate to that type yeah. of thing so I just want I want you to relate man like to know in the situation you're going through you're not alone or in the path that you want to take in your life to reach a certain goal it's possible you can you feel yeah they so saw basically I'd say it's like it's, 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 motivational yeah it's inspirational yeah it's fulfilling it gets you up to do something man yeah. we out here in Venda we putting in a lot of work all the time and uh, not a born here, but we're not a but we out here working every day and what you're doing like as you said it shows a kid that's like trying to do music or it's possible yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. through yeah. seeing what you are doing exactly. it can help a lot, yeah. like a lot of kids to get up and actually say I'm yeah. gonna do it because mass did it yeah yeah okay. you know I, I feel you so so it's like mm, we're on like the last questions. So like I know you've performed like in a lot of places, uh -huh. but which one was like your favorite place to like perform? And which one would you like want to go? Where, yeah. Where's the place? Like where's that one place you would like to go perform? Or one event mm -hmm. that you would like? This is like in the list of places where I'd, yeah. I'd like to perform. Um, my favorite one was when Castle called me out for yeah. SA's Most Wanted. Yeah. So that was crazy. Was there was a whole lot massive. of people. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an arena and like you literally hear yeah, yeah. like roars from people really feeling you like it's every rapper's dream. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was my favorite favorite and now hopefully one day I can do something like that too where a lot of people just came here to see me. You know what I mean? Not in, You know what I mean? Yeah, I really fucked, fucked with that. And uh, an event that I really really want to do, it's not really even far from there. It's like as I was falling in love with hip hop, there's an event that happens in Swaziland called Hip Hypnotic. It, it, yeah, I think it's yeah, it's, yeah, Hypnotic every year, annual, annual. If you really listen to local hip hop, yeah. um, back in the days, man, like 20, 2012, 2013, you know, when it was really booming, um, yeah, Bokuli and whatnot. It's like everybody is at that show. You know what I mean? I used to watch a whole lot of YouTube videos of that show, and. I that's like my that's like yeah it's my 
less like my coach. Yo, what did you, you say know? it's called? The hypnotic. Whatever it's called, man. And back to the Give city. us a call. Back to the city is like. Ah, back to the city is one. Yeah, but if you're talking international, you know, we're talking Coachella. Back to the city. Give him a call, you know. Afro punk. You know what I mean? Afro punk. I feel nah man it's gonna happen. Yeah, Trust me. The next interview we'll be doing in the, the next we're gonna be talking about we went to the back to the city, we did this, we did that. Because it's, 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 I feel like this is a this whole thing is a process, you understand? It is, it is, and patience is like that one vital thing that you gotta have. Because everything just unfolds. Mm. And I feel like everything unfolds. You didn't yeah. know about like a whole lot of things that you are actually doing now. You didn't know that you were gonna like be co-signed by Cass, you didn't know gonna call you, you didn't know, you didn't know that, all these things, but yeah. look at where you are. And there's still like a whole lot of things that are yeah. gonna happen yeah. in like the future. Yeah. Yeah. So like we get into like the end of everything. So I, this is just you like what that one thing that I didn't ask you that you just want to tell people or what you would like to say to the people out there. Uh, just listen to my shit, man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You can hear you myself, say. but like, just listen to just what I'm listen really to what, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, all I want, I don't, like for me, I don't really care where you get it from. You oh, get, yeah. you know, no, you I, can, saw, I saw yeah. you like, yo, Fakazo's yeah, got yeah. my age. Yeah, like, you know, but like, as long as you listen. It's, 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 I feel like it's, it's, it's good, like, because mm. there's like a whole lot of kids that one thing I've realized is that um, there's like Audio Mac, there's like iTunes, yeah. and then there's like Google. And there's kids who don't even they have don't those. Know. They don't, they don't know. Yeah, all yeah. Things. Even if they can, but they don't know and how to. Still kids on what trick? You know that exactly. Because so they don't know that. When I saw that, I was like, "This is actually dope." Because yeah. a whole lot of kids that I know actually like get music from Fakaz Fakaz. and all those. Uh, I even thought about how I used to like get music too from there. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah, but. And I'm getting music from there. Doesn't mean I don't fuck with the artist. Doesn't mean I don't want to support the no, artist. No, it's just to me, listening, I feel like I'm supporting and I become a exactly. fan. So if there's a show somewhere, I'm gonna go there. Exactly. And once I really get to like know how to okay. maneuver all these things, I can. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah, it's it, it's like as long as you're listening. As long as that's that's, that's, that's what it is. As long as I mean, you listen. Because one thing with the talent or with the goal or with whatever you want to do, if you're doing it solely for the money. You won't get far. You won't, yeah. You gotta drive your passion in what you do, your talent. Keep it yeah. out one, make the music speak. Let it be about passion. The, the, the money will come. Money However, come. the money will come. The if money you, always you, comes. Yeah, it will come. Yeah. It will come. Yeah. Mm. You know? Okay. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Yeah, so, because I saw. Like Fakazo's got it now. Yes, yeah, everyone, man. Like, shit, man. Shout out to everybody it. that's like, 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 like downloading and listening yeah, and and, yeah. and, 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 and playing the music and sharing it with your friends. Um, we're gonna leave, leave a link um, under this video. We'll leave the link to the, the audio max, the, the iTunes, everything. And then you can listen, then still comment down here. Ooh, read your comments, and next time we come back. We'll tell you what you guys said. We'll put it out there. Um, so, last one. This is like the last question that like I was asking you. Yeah. Um, what um, do you want to say to your fans? Like your hardcore fans. Yeah. I'm, I'm your fan too, bro. Yeah. I'm yeah. like yeah. a fan. Yeah. So what would you like to say to your fans? Like, what would you say to your fans out there who like listen to your music and support you on a daily? What would you say to them? Um, I just say I won't stop. Because if like if I'm like I'm, if I'm a fan of an artist, one thing that would hurt me is all of a sudden this artist, is, yeah, artist is not releasing music because it does things that's shit for me. You know, when I listen, I get a whole lot of the and telling me whatever and I won't stop basically and thank you for the support and everything just know like I won't stop that this journey is gonna be crazy when we really get to a place where we wanna be and you've been rolling with me it's gonna yeah, be yeah we're gonna be taking we'll nice. take the music off the room yeah take it to a big studio then yeah. it's gonna become like, it's gonna yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna happen be, yeah so you won't stop yo yeah. it's a boy mass it's a boy in the Nash We've been here, it's been cool. Univent, Pasia, Muri, yeah, never, you know. Ah, not the one who be interview is coming to an end. Um, just want to say that thanks to everybody that watched the whole thing, and then people that watched a minute doesn't matter. As long as you watch, just as the master was saying, Ori, as long as you listen, doesn't matter where you find the, uh, the mixtape, as long as you listen, doesn't matter where you find this video, as long as they watch, right? So, yeah. Eyes that can be shut it down. So boy Namanesh. It's a boy master difference. At Namanesh with Insta on everything. Namanesh out there. 
I'd mess the difference. Google me and say, yeah. Go on Google, actually. You'll find, you'll find, you'll find, you'll find us. Yo, and shout subscribe, out to like, to the notification Best Buy, bell. MIV, maybe yeah, Venda, yeah, 94, yeah, shout out. Yeah, yeah. They're nice. Yeah. Yeah. What people are going to make inside. They're going to make inside. They're going to make inside. Something, something. But you want to stay, but hey, shout out to everybody. And shout out to what we want to go for the Kamer, shout out to Mre, shout out to Fly, shout out to Blue Abstract, shout out to Wuyani. We're out here. More interviews will drop soon. So, yeah, we're nice. Exactly. Anyway, nice. Cool. Look. I'm tapping ass like the team that rocked that was silent I'm finna smash like I sleep with the stars, I'm a comet A shooting star, man, my season is spicy, I'm hot there A sinner star, man, my rap and it's fire, yo, I'm honest Came out the dirt shit, motherfucking zombie The words I'm steady spitting make you think I'm dubbing Gandhi Look, spirit of truth, even haters can't deny me Born, I got the juice and they just sipping on my line And Mudimu go by by two, say they can't kick it with my rhyme And the skill is supernatural, cadence, not a manual Automatic fire, I'm killing, there's nothing proper Yo, after the newest wave, critical disaster. We making sure that the game behaves. Pity for your masters, I'm making sure that the game is caged. You see, my master was making sure that the game is saved. I hope you bought it and never asked for the change again. We're here now, you supposed to they change now. They try to copy me, they not original. Damn. Oh my god, I'm the man. My talent, I seize it. Yeah. I move like the waves, I never die when I crash. Turn my idols to fans Try catch up if you can I hope you bought it, I wrote it, and then recorded it and sold it Rappers is hopeless and this is the time they focus, we're here We be the coaches, they playing games, no more vouchers this year This is the culture, you lazy rappers is dying in fear I grew up different, we was damaged by the system So these niggas that was pimping, I roll with them when they drinking I was 10 years and they still crying, same tears uh. Scribble, scrabble, I'm throwing jabs on your lyrics tickle It's not the reason I'm laughing, you just a fucking joke They dubbing me the season's assassin, I had no fucking hope How many bars did cast come across, so I was too fucking dope How many rappers suffered a loss, man I could never choke I never leave the microphone, I'ma die when I'm in my zone Probably die rapping, no acting, I can't have it You probably die acting, no capping, your lame habits You never been famished, I'm hungry, the pain damaged the boy They try to copy me, they not original, damn Oh my god, I'm the man My talent, I seize it, yeah I move like the waves, I never die when I crash Turn my idols to fans Try catch up if you